Hello and welcome to part 5. In this video I want to take a look at how we can tweak the iKinema rig. So as you can see I have my webcam on and that's because I want to show what I'm doing while I'm calibrating or just making these adjustments to the iKinema rig. So to begin with I want to jump in and get the headset on. So I don't know how clear you can hear me but I'm gonna well try and speak loud and clear. So right now the, the mesh itself is turned around so it will look correct this way only. Uh, you can see the right hand uh, here is looking like it's almost on top of the, the, the VR template hand. It's a little bit of lag on and that's something I haven't really sorted out yet. Uh, I think it's something we need to just um, accept. Except for that, it seems like the, the hand is, the two hands are following each other, mostly. If we take a look at the left hand here, we can see it's also sort of okay. It's a little bit off and we can see that the hand is bent a little bit and that is because uh, the idle pose has a little bit of a curl on the left hand. Other than that, it seems like it's a little bit off and the angle is a little bit off as well uh, with the hand. So that's also something I want to show here how we can fix. So one thing to note here is that you got to be prepared to do a fair amount of uh, trial and error when you're doing this. It took me like 15 tries or so to get this to look correct. So as we saw from the um, the test just before we can see that the right hand was looking sort of okay and you can see here from this picture here how it's uh, positioned so it's a little bit above the hand as you can see here if we take it from the front view you can see exactly how it's positioned so you can pause the video here if you want and see if you can position your controller somewhat like this I think the key point, and I'm not entirely sure about this, but uh, I think the key point is that my hands, when I rigged it and um, or prepared the, the T-post for this, I didn't straighten up the hands so they are pointing straight forward and the fingers are not st pointing straight forward either. So it has a slight angle downwards and that is why I think we have to have a little angle here to get the correct look. If we take a look at from a, from the right side, or maybe from the left side, like this. And just turn off the skeleton and the um, constraints. You can see how the controller is positioned here. So there's a little, a very slight angle pointing inwards. And we can also see that if we go to the top view, we can see how it looks in relation to the, the hand or the, the rest of the arm a slight uh, angle on, on the controller. And other than that, it seems to be positioned fairly central, uh, centered around the, the hand joint. If we look at the other side here, we can see it's almost um, the same. If we go to the other side here. But the controller here is like um, parallel to the arm. So if we want to get that same angle, we should twist it up like this, maybe um, somewhat like this. So it will be parallel to the hand itself. And I think that should help it a little bit. Uh, so if we take a look at it from the top, we want to make sure that it's also centered around. Uh, and that's a funny thing. You can't do these adjustments when you are in the orthogonal uh, views, so you have to switch the, to a perspective view and then you can check it here so it should be pretty centered now so you also want to check from the right side and see how it looks here so it's pretty much the same and also maybe from the front here just to check how things look so let's give it a test again
I don't know how much difference you can tell from this, but I, to me it looks a little bit more uh, in place. There's still this lag here, and that's not anything we can do about. And you will see the fingers, they are more or less on top of each other. You'll see a little bit of difference on the left contrary to the right. Uh, so that's something I would probably want to fix up before I leave this. Uh, one other thing is that we have a bit of a, you can see here when I get my hand very close to the HMD, you can see we get some C-clipping here, which we want to get rid of when we do uh, VR stuff. So that's something also we want to take a look at in this video. So as mentioned, uh, one of the things when you do these adjustments, now you've seen me do this two times, uh, you want to do this several times and it doesn't seem all, always too um, uh, very uh, clear what axis you're rotating about. Um, so what I would suggest you do is to first see if you can get the position like this correct and then also do some adjustments uh, with the length so that you get the joint here to rotate around the correct position and then you switch to the rotation afterwards and just try your way out with that until you get a good result so uh, let's assume this is looking correct now uh, i won't spend too much time on this but just wanted to note that it's something that took me like half an hour or so to get right and then it I'm not going to touch it afterwards. Um, and the other thing I mentioned was the C clipping it's found in the project settings so go into general settings and here you will have something called near clip plane you want to set that to one and depending on what you have you may or may not have this uh, need to do this so restart your editor this is needed in order for this to take effect um, and then we can do a, a final test. Right, so let's hit play again. And it looks like the hands are a little bit better now. They are pretty parallel. And the fingers, when I stand still, they seem to be pretty much on top of each other. So I'm quite satisfied with this, and the rotation is always also okay. So obviously, when we look down, <laughs> you won't be able to see anything, uh, but if I turn around, you will see he's not moving. And we don't have any head. And something weird is going on. Um, but that is something we will take a look at in the next video. Um, for now, let's actually, I, I forgot to check the C clipping. So you can see the hand now, when I put it all the way up to the HMD, you can see we don't get any C clipping at all. I can get the hands all the way up and I don't see any clipping. So that's something you definitely want to do. Alright, um, I think that's what I wanted to show in this very short video. Um, we're going to continue in the next and take a look at how we can keep improving this so we can uh, get the real full body um, feeling when we are in, in VR. So stay tuned and see you in the next.